All right, guys, happy Thursday. We're coming at you with a total body strength class. You need a pair of dumbbells. Uh, we're gonna get rolling in a warm up in just a second. So go ahead and get yourself set up. We're gonna start in a wide squat position, hands behind your head. We're gonna start low into a squat. Feel free to go as slow as you need to. Eric, just keep walking in front of the camera. It's good. <laughs> All right, sink down, guys. Try to get those hands behind your head. Pull the shoulder blades back. Work on a really good, strong position there. Keep it going. A few more reps, then we're gonna hold the bottom. In three, two, and one. Lock in and hold. Stay there, sink into your hips. You can adjust your position as needed. And then we're gonna come out of that in three, two, and one. Come on, stand up. All right, let's get those feet nice and wide. Point your feet out away from yourself. By the way, welcome Eric to the video on YouTube. He's gonna be warming up with us. And we're gonna slowly lunge over into a squat hold. Get that one opposite leg straight. Keep that foot planted on the ground. Stay there for a little bit and hold. Guys, you can actually put your hands down on the ground if you need to. And then we're gonna slowly shift our weight across to the opposite side. Keep those feet flat. Keep that opposite leg nice and straight. Keep holding. All right, guys, well, stay there, but try to get your chest up a little higher. Sink in. Three, two, and one. All right, go ahead and stand yourselves back up. So this one, get your feet right underneath your body. We're going to do a toe touch into a straight arm raise. So you're going to be touching your toes and then raising all the way up. Good morning each time. Breathe out, reach all the way up. And good morning. <laughs> Keep breathing out and reaching up. A few more reps, and then we're going to start to go a squat into an overhead reach across your body. So let's do one more and then gather your feet nice and wide. We're gonna squat down, reach your hand up and over. Again, today is total body, so we are warming up everything. Get those lats involved. Breathe out and reach up. Keep it up. All right, two more rounds over and back one more time. Good work. Then we're gonna go ahead and take a seat. Go ahead, sit yourself down. We're gonna do the V-sit rollovers. Tuck under your knees, roll back, shoot down the right, left, and center. Gotta get out of the way so we can see E. <laughs> All right, guys, a few more reps. Try to go over and back at least one more set. As you guys finish that last one, stay there. We're gonna go into a hip lift. So plant those feet down, get your knees wide, arms across your chest, and let's shoot the hips up in the air. Pause a little bit at the top. Keep going. As you guys finish those up, we're not going to do anything else but move our feet further away from our body and hit the hamstrings a little bit more. So go ahead and get yourself further out and hit them up. Good pace. Breathing out at the top, keeping the core tight, hips neutral. Keep it up. And then you guys can roll over facing the camera into that side beach pose. Put that, that hand on your head. Feet and hips stacked, and go ahead and raise that front leg first. After you guys do a few more reps, we're gonna plant that top leg in front of your knee and raise the inside leg next. Looking good. A few more reps, and then we're gonna roll over to the opposite side. In three, two, and flip it. Remember to stack your hips, be as tall and straight as a pencil as you can. A little detail, you can get your heel to lead the movement. Point your heel up, toe down. Three, two, and one. Let's switch to the inside leg. Keep breathing and working that out. A few more reps. After this, we're gonna go into our fire hydrants in two and one. Let's go on all fours. We're gonna do alternating fire hydrants. So left to right, left to right, back and forth. Let's keep the arms straight. Pull your shoulder blades back, chest up and keep swinging that leg back and forth. Ankles stay flexed, exhaling. Next thing we're gonna do is an alternating bird dog. Opposite arm, opposite leg extend. Go ahead and switch to that now. So we're gonna do alternating one rep, then the opposite side, back and forth. Alternating, man and already, there already, we go, there we go. I'm coaching you guys too, good morning. Back and forth. We gotta get, Nancy was doing them right, we gotta get her on this video. Three, two, and one. All right guys, hop on back up. We're gonna go into our gate swings a lot faster on the way up and down. Three, two, and one. Drop in, pop up. Looking good. We're gonna transition right into our jumping jacks in three, two, and one. Jumping jacks, get in it. 
After these jumping jacks, we're gonna flip into seal jacks in three, two, and one. Seal jacks, in and out. <laughs> keep going, guys, keep going. A lot of warming up to do. Three, two, and one. Relax for a second. All right. So let's go ahead and take a knee. One foot in front. All we're gonna do here, sorry, Eric. <laughs> you're gonna take whatever hand you're on and reach over that knee and back. Over that knee and back. A few more reps. After that fifth rep, put your hands on your hip, and then we're gonna do a stationary split squat where you're just gonna raise yourself up, squeeze your glutes, hold your tallest, and then control your knee back down and pop right back up. You guys got five reps. After the fifth one, let's go ahead and switch sides. There's not a room for three people in this game right now. <laughs> Reach over for five. After that fifth one, hands back on hips, that pulsing lunge. Get after it for five again. Final part of the warm up. Go ahead and adjust yourself. If you guys need a balance for a second on one leg, that's fine. But we're gonna do that drinking bird where we fold over, get a hamstring long, and then stand up slowly. You can breathe out. Try to keep your hips level. Watch that back hip rock up. Hit five in a row on one side slowly, and then we'll switch sides. Lengthen that hamstring. Nancy, Becky on Zoom, you guys are looking great. I'm calling everyone out. Where are you this morning on Zoom? Everyone else? All right, so slowly get that five and switch. It's about balance and getting those hamstrings warmed up and stretched out. They're acclimatizing. <laughs> Damn it, Eric, I wanted to use that word first today. <laughs> All right, when you guys have done that one, go ahead and get a quick sip of water if you need to. That was Eric's workout today. <laughs> so we're gonna go over this one. We need a pair of dumbbells while Amanda's getting herself ready. I'm gonna just demonstrate this. This is new because I like to throw new stuff at you guys. Three exercises in one. This is a side lunge into a curl, and then you guys are gonna go right into an alternate, um, an overhead press on the way back. So grab onto your dumbbells. We're right here to start. We are gonna take your bells and you're gonna curl as you lunge to the side. Eat, be as quiet as you can back there. So we're gonna take a step over. The bells are gonna be at shoulder height in my side lunge. When I push myself back up, I'm gonna go overhead. All right, again, we're gonna go to that side one more time. As I lunge, I'm curling. As I push back, I'm pressing. And then the weights go down and down. Then we're gonna switch to the other side. Lunge with that curl, press overhead on the way back, down, down. I'm gonna do one more side each way. So we're gonna go, Curl lunge, push back, press overhead, bring the weights back all the way down. Curl with the lunge, press up overhead, down, down. So it's gonna be alternating back and forth. That's gonna be 30 seconds on. As you guys finish that up, put the bells down, immediately go into a low ISO plank hold for 30 seconds. So it's a minute straight of work, then we'll do a little bit of recovery time and we're gonna get back at it. Remember, alternate left to right for 30 seconds, breathe out on the way up, and lock and load, all right? Let's get yourselves going. Plant your feet, pull your shoulder blades back. Remember, as you lunge, you're curling catch. You're catching it at your shoulders, pushing that leg off and pressing overhead. Let's go in three, two, and one. Clock is on. Lunge, push off, and stand up. Maintain your balance. Put those weights back down and switch sides. Looking good, guys. Lunge into press. Remember, you can lean forward, get your butt back each time. work we are halfway there and get right back in it back you're trying to yeah if you can't get that curl in at the same time that's fine nancy looks great as you fall into that lunge the curl happens at the same time we have one more time for one more rep and two one bells down low plank three two and one hold it looking good so if you now guys are on your elbows, let's push those feet in together, lift the hips up a little higher, push your chest up out of the, out of the ground a little higher as well. It won't be as high as you can up. Keep breathing and holding. Squeeze every muscle you can. Remember that inchworm method. Drive the elbows and the toes into each other. Keep going, keep going. Keep breathing. In three, two, and one. All right, we got some more time off. 
Uh, for those of you on Zoom, Beck, I think you're trying to lunge too far out. So instead, because your foot's getting caught in your way out there, if you do a, if you do a shorter lunge, that leg's not gonna be so stuck as much. I think that might be a quick little fix for you. Other than that, you're doing great. All right, guys, take a deep breath. We got 10 more seconds off. We're going right back in the same thing again. And then maintain balance, feel your core stabilize. Let's lock and load, grab onto your weights. All right, in three, two, and one. Lunge with the curl, press up overhead and alternate. Remember to let the bells come all the way back down before you do your next side. Nancy looks good. Becky, a lot better there, nice. Amanda, also, you're doing great, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are 10 seconds left. Remember, plant that foot down, keep the opposite foot locked in, and push really hard up. Your leg is the initiator. As you lunge, we got time for one more. Up, up, and down. All right, let's get in that plank again. Elbows down, palms down. Hips are neutral with the shoulders. Ready, and hold. Keep it there, guys. We're doing great. Keeping those toes together, pushing your upper body. Ladies on Zoom, that looks fantastic. Keep it there. Slow breath out, control your rhythm. Let's go. Keep holding it. I wanna go to the bathroom. I'll be back in a little bit. Just hold it, stay there. Five more seconds. Come on. Three, two, and one. All right, we got a few more seconds off before we get our final round in. Um, I'm gonna have Amanda, I, I was talking to her about this earlier, she is gonna be the determ determining factor if we do just three sets or a fourth set. So we might be doing a fourth set, depends on, on how she's feeling. Because this is our main movement today. Hey, with these lunges, by the way, before we get going on this next one, I'm gonna show you from a side angle. Look where my chest is compared to my hips. As I lunge down, hips are going back, chest is neutral with my knee. This is okay position. My back's still flat, and this is gonna activate my glutes. And then this leg, I'm putting all my weight there, my initiation push, I'm pushing off hard, and my arms follow. So you're putting all your weight there, drive and press overhead, all right? Make it a smooth transition. With that being said, we're gonna start our third set. Grab onto your weights, pull your shoulder blades back, get your lats neutral, chin tucked. Plant those feet and get low. Don't just stomp and hold yourself in a, in a half lunge. Get your butt down. Ready, set, go. Sink in, blast off. And then drop the bells and get to your next round. Always put the bells all the way back to the bottom. Nice, Nancy. You got a smile on your face. That means your arms are feeling great. Here we go. Beck, you're trying to com combine it. You want to do the curl as you do the lunge. You got it. 10 seconds, guys. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Five more seconds. Get one more. Get one more. Three, two, and one. We got that low plank again. Three, two, and one. Hold it. Yeah, I know my Zoom people. There's less people to watch. I'm calling you out more often. This is great. I'm all about rhythm. Let's go. All right, we are halfway there. Let's get those toes, start to pull into your elbows, elbows down to your toes, isolate yourself. Think of it like a bridge. Keep holding. We got 10 seconds, guys, come on. Make this hard. Three, two, and one. Amanda said she's just warming up. We got another set to do. All right, so reminder again, for those of you, I, I, this is a new movement, so don't be frustrated with yourself. If this is new for you, you're having a hard time, let's talk about that tempo again. You're gonna use gravity on your side. Your bells start to curl as you lower down. So I'm meeting the bells in the middle. So I'm here, meet them. As I'm falling, my elbows start to curl. Meet as you drop and then press up overhead on the way up. So think about meeting at your shoulders, and then pushing up, up, up on the way up. So keep that in mind. We're gonna alternate back and forth. If this last set, guys, if you're having a really hard time getting this down, I'll say halfway. Do the first half only in one direction, and then do the other half the opposite way, if that change up helps you, all right? Let's get after this. We got one more set. Last set, best set. Grab onto your weights. Get your posture set up. Remember, your feet are your ground contact. Plant strong and hard. Here we go. Three, 
two, and one. Lock in, push off fast. Those legs are strong, use that for momentum. Pop it up. Oh, we're in the zone now, Zoom, let's go. We are three more seconds till halfway. Exactly halfway, if you need to switch sides, do it. Otherwise, keep alternating. Dig in, guys. Stick your butt back, chest folds over. We got time for maybe two more reps. We're at five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, bells down, hit the deck. We're going into that low plank. Feet together, three, two, one, and we're in it. I'll exit back if you still more weight on this bench without him knowing. <laughs> We are halfway there, guys. Keep going. Oh, he might have heard me. Come on, 10 seconds. Make this hard as you can. Elbows towards toes, toes towards elbows, hips up. Come on. In three, two, one. All right, game. We got a small break. That was A, completed. We're going to move on to the next one. And these are what we call man makers. This involves. A little bit of everything. I'm going to demonstrate. Unless if Amanda thinks she's ready to rock. Cool. She's better at these than at me anyway. So, dumbbells are going to be in hands. Guys, if you are really sore for any reason, like doing the Murph, <laughs> don't use weights. You can move without the weights if you need to. All right, let's have Amanda show this in a second. Involving a push-up, a double row, and then you're hopping up to your feet using a momentum swing to an overhead press again. So, Amanda, take it away. Starting down on the ground like this, push-up. Row each arm once, one, two, hop your feet up in front of you, momentum to bring the bells up into that. So guys, think about this. You're doing a lot of the same movements, but we're gonna add that push up. It's gonna be a hop, a row, a row, hop up, swing the bells back, curl it, and press. Let's do one more for good measure. Push up, row, row, hop the feet up, swing the bells back, rip it, and press, all right. Guys, don't worry, we've got plenty of rounds to get through this, so if you don't have the best first set, we'll get better and better at it. Take a deep breath. If you want to practice a rep real quick while we're waiting for Amanda to recover, um, feel free to do that. Three sets, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. That's it. By the way, you can absolutely do this on your knees. Variations, there's push-ups. You can go here. Do your push-up, do your row, do your row. Use your knees. Bring yourself up, swing, and do the same movement. There is no squat. You swing, curl, press. No squat involved. All right, let's get rolling. Find your weights. I'm gonna kind of cue and talk yourself through it for the first half, and then I'm gonna kind of pull back and see what you guys got going on. So we're gonna start in that push-up position. So go ahead and get your bells down on the ground. We're gonna be in that push-up. So in three, two, and one. Push-up. Row each arm once each way. Swing and press. Sorry. Of course, Eric likes to keep his phone on loud and calling us. So keep going, guys. We are at 17 seconds in. Push up. Row each arm once. Hop your feet up. Swing the bells back. Catch up your shoulders and press overhead. We got time for one more rep. In three, two, one, wherever you're at, go ahead and stop for a second. All right, take your time off. There's no core exercise in between. There's plenty of core involved in that movement. So we're gonna take some time off here. Hopefully you guys had a good rhythm. Zoom, I'm sorry, I didn't, get, I didn't get to look at you guys. I had to run over and mute Eric. All he's been doing is disrupting us. Tell him to stay home. <laughs> yeah, he leaves, puts his phone next to me. All right, guys, that was a 15 second break so far. Take a deep breath. Remember, your push-ups are slow and steady. Don't let your head lunge first. Your hips, everything wants to move at the same time. So you're trying to control. My hips are staying a little bit higher. Press up. My feet are wide for this. If your feet are too close, you're gonna be wiggling your hips around during that renegade row. All right, let's go ahead and get yourselves back into the next set. Plant your feet. We're starting in that push-up position again. Three, two, and one. Push-up. At the top, row each arm once. Hop the feet to the bells, swing the bells back into that curl to press and go right back down to it. 
Your, your pace is up to you. You guys can go slow and strong if you need to. Halfway there with time. Try to get up to five, maybe six reps in total. Let's go guys. Dig in, get your groove on. Five more seconds, you got time for one more. Oh yeah, I muted it, Jeff Kiley. Two and one, excellent. You gotta put you, you your time out. <laughs> All right, that was our second set. Guys, before we do the third set, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check your heart rate. So before we actually start, don't check it now. We're gonna recheck it towards the end. I want everyone below 12. This one is a heart rate jack upper. So keep that in mind. Bob can make fun of me that one later, it's fine. Deep breath, we got one more breath in before we check our pulse. Here we go, in three, we're not starting yet, we're checking our pulse. Three, two, count. Stop. 14. 14, we are not ready yet, so we are gonna wait a little bit longer. Becky, where were you at? Nancy, I saw you put a finger up. Was that 13 or 30? Becky, still high too. Yeah, guys, keep that in mind, especially my people on YouTube. You can pause this whenever you need to. If your heart rate's too high, you're gonna have a bad set next set. So we'll get it back down below 12. We'll check your pulse again in just a second. This workout sponsored by McDonald's Cafe <laughs> Coffee. Don't worry, there's nothing else but coffee in there. <laughs> All right, we're gonna recheck your pulse again. Take one more deep breath. Ready. Go. Stop. We're in that 10, 12 range, great. So this is our last set, make it your best set. You guys should have a good rhythm down now. So remember, push up, row, row, hop up, get that momentum curl to press. Let's dig in. Guys, your goal, five to six reps. Here we go. Start down on that push up set. Three, two, one. Row, row, hop up, swing back, curl to press. Let's get back after it. Right in it. Nancy, great push-ups. There you go, Beck. Strong body, Mike's job. Way to get the hips forward the whole time. Guys, we are at half. Keep going. Try to get that fourth, fifth one in. Come on. We got five more seconds. Dig in. And three, two, and one. All right, gang. Take a deep breath. While you're getting that recovery, maybe get some water. I'm gonna go over the next thing. This is also a little bit new. You can do this without weight. You can do this with a two pound bell or whatever bells you have out now. It's a single arm ISO overhead hold while you're doing a, front, while you're doing a squat. For the first 15 seconds, it's one arm hold. The next 15 seconds, we'll switch arms. And then we're gonna go into side planks. I'm gonna demonstrate real quick. You wanna have your palm facing out. So my hand is facing the camera. I'm gonna start with a, probably a pretty wide stance. Bring my arm overhead, but from here, I need to make sure my shoulder blade stays down. Don't hike the shoulder up. Find your stance, slowly bend your knees and your hips at the same time, and stand back up. This is not for a million reps. This is a slow, strong movement. We're staying there. Find your rhythm. The knees can shoot out with the toes. When I say switch, all you're gonna do is go to chest, switch, and back in. This is a great chance to find out how your shoulders are compared to one or the other one. If you're someone that sleeps on one side a lot, maybe you don't have that, the best mobility, instead of doing one weight and one without weight, do both without the weight. Keep it consistent. Even if one arm seems super easy. You can do this by holding your belly here with the opposite arm and doing it. You holding your stomach will let you feel like if you're activated or not. So neutral grip, get your shoulder blade back, wide knees, get that arm straight. You can check and I'll call you out on Zoom if your elbow's not gonna be straight out there. So go ahead and do that. You're doing ISO hold, squat, switch, squat, but you're gonna continue to squat the whole time. When you're done, as soon as you're done, drop the bell, elbow down, side plank hold. If you wanna get crazy, go ahead and lift that leg up and hold it, and then just flip over for the opposite side. Each thing is 15 seconds each side, so it's gonna be a minute total. All right, let's get after this. Plenty of recovery time. Grab onto that bell. Make sure your knees are gonna be staying stabilized and your heels stay down. 
This is an easy trick to get the heels off the ground. Drive off the heels in that squat. Here we go. Three, two, bell overhead, and one. Continuous squats. You can get your knees nice and wide. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure the feet are staying outside, knees are going outside. Watch to see if your foot are clap, feet are collapsing or not. We got one more rep and switch arms. Keep going guys, you got this. Arms straight, all the way up, all the way up. And three, two, and one. We had that side plank hold on your elbow, palm in front. Three, two, and hold it. You can either, yeah, make sure if you feel your ankle, you wanna be on the outside of your foot, your ankle's off the ground if you can. Really straighten out that leg. We're gonna switch sides in a few seconds. Keep holding it and get yourself ready. Three, two, and one. Flip it over. Keep that shoulder away from your ear, people. You got this. Nice work. That looks great. Nice back, nice Nancy. Keep going, guys. Three, two, one. Excellent job. Hey, that one is pretty challenging. Reminder, you can go body weight. Pay attention to your feet. If the inside edge of your foot is collapsing, right here, if this part of your foot starts to collapse in like this, you probably need to go wider and rotate to your pinky toe. You can go body weight. You don't need to use actual weight. Even just holding your arm up, this thoracic extension is brutal for a lot of people that are here all day. So just think about getting your arm up high. I'd rather see the arm straight than the dumbbell here. So keep that in mind, all right? We're gonna get going in our next set in 15 seconds. Yeah, go, by, go, go without it. Good example of someone that should be doing this body weight. All right, here we go. Get those knees nice and wide, feet are arched in three, two, and one. Sink in. Keep those knees apart. You can hold your belly if you're going to feel your core stabilize. Now pat your head and rub your stomach. Keep going, guys. We're going to do a few more reps on this side. Three, two, and one. Keep that arm straight and switch. It looks like everyone on Zoom has a question. Excuse me. Keep it up. We got five more seconds. Sink in. Three, two, and one. Side plank hold. Becky, that was your best set. You kept their arms super straight. The knees were working well with the hips. Three, two, one. Iso hold. Hips up. Get them nice and high. Stack the hips and the ankles level with each other. Don't let yourself fall forward or lean back. Keep going, guys. Two, one, flip it. Keep going. We got five more seconds, guys. Hold it up, hold it up. Two, one, time. All right, immediately, everyone do as many chin-ups as Eric's doing. Right in it. Sorry. <laughs> All right, guys, we have one more round of those. By the way, that stomach thing, if you're holding your stomach, you're gonna feel if you start to pull forward or pull back, and you can keep your core tight, pull your stomach in, and find that neutral position. You wanna have your bicep next to your ear, but have a gap. If it's touching, it's cause your shoulder shrug. Keep it away and work in that spot, all right? We're gonna get after our last round in 15 seconds. Last set, best set. All right, let's get yourselves ready. Grab onto those weights or go body weight. Remember, pull your shoulder down. This lat muscle keeps your shoulder in place. Let's scoop it into place. Knees are going out with the ankles in three, two, and one. Arms are all the way straight overhead. Lock them out straight. Pull your shoulder blade or track back. That looks great, Nancy. Keep it up. Drive through the heels. Shift your weight back, back, back. Come on, guys. We got time for two more squats. And switch. Arm straight. I can know the answer to the next question. Keep it up. Keep it up. Looking good, guys. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and side plank. Get right in it. Palm down, elbow down. Pull your shoulder blade away from your neck. And two, one, we're in. 
hips up. Stack the feet, stack the hips. Elbow and shoulder are locked into place. Let's go. Come on. Take a deep breath. We're gonna rotate in three, two, one. Switch it. Eric's making fun of me. Tell I me. would never make fun of you. And five, four, three, two, and done. All right, gang, great work. Catch your breath. And this next one is a triple set. Three exercises, all of it is lower body. So you're done with your upper body, kind of, once you want to hold weight. We have a sumo deadlift, we have a cannonball squat, and then we have a body weight gait swing. The first two are with weight, the last one's with no weight. But we'll go over those real quick. The sumo deadlift, you can use one dumbbell, you can use both dumbbells, whatever you want. But remember, the deadlift means your upper body looks like a tabletop. So, wide stance, feet out. Get yourself in a good, strong position. The weight is not going in front of you. You're trying to shift your weight through your knees and your shins. Back stays flat. I'm getting myself to this position and popping up straight here. From a forward angle. Wide stance, hips stay high. I want to feel this on the inner hamstring on both sides. And you want to stand all the way up. Make sure your hips come fully locked out forward. The hips don't want to come forward until the knees also are extended. So keep that timing there. When I say three, two, and one, we're gonna switch, bring the weights to your shoulders or put one down. We're gonna go into that cannonball squat. Knees are going out, weight is between your heels. So that's the transition. We're gonna go from here, deadlift, fold over. Don't worry about going to the ground, just get a good range of motion in there. As we switch, catch the weight, get the feet nice and close, stay balanced, and your knees are shooting way out. After the cannonball, drop the weights and go right into gate swings, which is a combination of that deadlift wide stance and that squat with some plyo work. This is gonna jack your heart rate up. We're gonna get through each one. This is our finisher for the day, so let's get after this. If you don't wanna use weight for anything, honestly, I'm sore. You can do every single exercise without weight or light weight, but find out what you got. We're gonna get started in 10 seconds. Here we go. In three, two, wait for Nancy, you got it. And one, deadlift, wide feet. Knees are going out and high, hips are going back. Breathe out, stand all the way up. Find your range of motion. It's definitely not gonna go all the way to the ground. This is a hard movement. The hamstrings are super lengthened here. Keep it up. We're gonna switch into that cannonball in five seconds. You got a few more reps. Three, two, one. Catch the weight on your shoulders, heels touch, knees go way out. Get those knees out and start. Drive them out, out, out. Looking good. Hey, for those of you on YouTube, even in Zoom, fight that range of motion. Get through that depth, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. You probably can get much lower than you think as long as you're going slow and controlled. Nancy, Becky, that looks fantastic. We got three seconds, two, and one. Drop the weights, gate swings, these are fast. Drop in, pop up. Tuck the chin, catch at the bottom. Get your hands in a good rhythm. Amanda's doing a great job there. Let's roll, let's go. Plant those feet. We're doing great. 10 seconds, guys, dig in. Let's get that heart rate up. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. That was set one of our finisher. <laughs> Catch your breath. <laughs> we are going to check your pulse before we start again, though. So start to breathe in. Breathe out. Get some water. By the way, never be afraid to change your variations up. If you need to go into a regular RDL because there's something in your groin is bothering you or you just can't get that movement down, you can go to a different movement. It's fine. Same thing with the cannonball squats. A good position out of that, this is called a suitcase squat. If you just don't put your heels together, back up for the camera, if you guys can't get this movement down and it really doesn't feel good, get your feet straight but really narrow. And you, as long as your knees are facing the same angle as your toes and not touching each other like this, like the pie dance, this is fine. You can do a suitcase um, carry instead of that squat position. Just do something that makes sense for you and that feels good. Not easy, still gotta be hard. 
All right, let's get yourselves ready. We got 10 seconds, we're gonna go into our next round. Sumo deadlift to start. Wide feet, wide toes, knees are gonna be pretty vertical. When you're watching yourself, all your shins and knees pointing up or forward, keep that in mind. Shift the weight back, pull the blades back. Three, two, one. Keep going. Nice pace, guys. Breathe out at the top. We're looking great on Zoom. Nice job, way to stand tall. That's great posture, keep going. Each set's gonna get a little bit shorter. We only have three more seconds. And two, one, cannonballs. Let's go. Clock is on. Keep going. Five more seconds and we're gonna go into those gate swings. Three, two, and one. Come on, come on, 10 seconds. And three, two, and one. All right. I know I did not check you everyone's pulse before that one, but we had a big break, my bad. We are gonna check the pulse before this next set. The first round was 25 seconds, that one was 20 seconds. Our last one's just 15 seconds. So I want you guys between 12 and 13 beats per minute on your heart rate, and we're gonna get right back in it. How long can you maintain good position while, the, while a little bit fatigued? We're gonna check that pulse in 15 seconds. Take a few more big breaths with good posture. All right, let's check it in three, two, count. Stop. 14. 14. Once we get to 13, we'll give you guys like a few more seconds. Nancy, where you at? 12, good. Oh, Nancy's ready. Beck, where you at? 13 as well. All right, let's take 15 more seconds off. Get yourself gathered up. Same thing, this is only 15 seconds of each. So get a good pace, get a good tempo, and transition quickly. Get right into the next lift, all right? Here we go, in five. Wide stance, plant those feet. Drill your feet into position, that corkscrew feeling. Get the knees to point up, and two, and one. Stand up each time. Good pace, guys, come on, hit it, let's go. Five seconds. Get ready for those cannonballs. You can even hop into it. Two, oh. one. Oh my God. We almost saw a crazy oh car God. accident. Keep going, Amanda. Focus on the lift. That was bad. Keep going, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Gate swings, drop and hop. Let's go. Good rhythm. Nice job, guys. Come on, dig in. We got five seconds and then we are done. Two, one, time. Guys, awesome job today. Take a deep breath. We're gonna go ahead and get our stretches going on in just a second. So today was a lot, a lot of lower body compared to upper body, but we're gonna start out with one big stretch with a hamstring crossover. Let's cross your leg over. Stand up, Becky. <laughs> cross your hamstring over, grab your wrist, reach over. Let's get that lat opened up first. And then after you get that nice stretch, we're gonna fold forward and stretch out the back hamstring. Keep holding there. Take a deep breath, and then we're gonna come up, cross the opposite way, and go ahead and reach over your body. All right, go ahead and fold yourself over. Reach down, stretch out. Let's get the ISO hamstring. As you guys finish this up, we're gonna go into that sprinter's lunge and hold. So when you're ready, go ahead and plant one foot way out in front of you. Put both hands in front of your foot. Let's drive that knee slightly out to the side and make sure your knee that's down is back behind your hips. You wanna pull your hips forward, forward, forward. Keep holding there. 
After a few seconds, we're gonna take both arms and reach them up overhead and get our belly to stretch out. So go ahead and lift yourself up. Pull your hips forward and lean almost back, trying to get an arc to happen. Before we do anything else, we're gonna take our, do this one. I can't, I can't look at him hand his leg. <laughs> Opposite hand to your knee and rotate. Sorry, our, my, my camera is reversing the mirror. That was really confusing for a second. Hips forward. When you're ready to switch, we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. Lean forward, both hands down. Lean all the way in and drive that knee slightly out. Nancy, I'm meeting the whole family today. What's up? <laughs> Where were you guys on Zoom? I saw you for one recovery class. All right, let's go ahead and raise yourself up. Reach your hands nice and high. Next thing you're gonna do is take that opposite hand to the outside of your knee, rotate, pull your body forward. As you guys finish up, you can lay down on the mat, grab onto your knee, lean back, knee to chest, ankles flexed, lock the opposite leg out straight. Slowly exhale through those movements. Again, I don't like to count time, it's about breaths. Take at least three to four deep breaths and then switch sides. By the way, this was our last strength day. That's gonna be total body. We're gonna go back to ISOs, which we'll do upper and lower separate. Get extra sore that way. It's my favorite thing to do. And then as you guys finish that one up, Amanda's showing us this one. Take the hands behind your back, lock the hands out wide, pull your chest up. If you can, get your legs straight. If you can't, don't worry about it. Chin, chin tucked. And go ahead and reach forward again for that hamstring. If you guys can't do that toe touch, remember your hands go behind your back and you can push yourself forward. My favorite stretch to do. When you've done that one, we're gonna lay on your back, we're gonna cross the knee and the ankle. And remember, if you saw that recovery class, don't push your knee down. Actively drive your knee down with the muscle group. Don't push with your hand and crank out. That What that does is it turns the muscles off and your joints are just getting damaged. This is your muscles actively pushing. Ankle flexed, knee pushes away from your body because of your glute need, not because your hand. And then, yes, while you're pushing that knee back, you can grab onto your hamstring, and then that guy can be passively pulled towards your body. Hamstring gets pulled towards you, muscles push your knee away. Ankle flexed, this is, that's my favorite one. And then when you're ready to switch sides, go ahead and switch. Don't just rest that knee, keep driving that knee out. And then our final one is the one we usually start with. We'll do that butterfly stretch. So go ahead and sit yourself up, plant those feet together. You can grab onto your shins. Let's get the posture well first. So put the blades back, chest up. And then after a few seconds, if you feel like you can pull your neck, what I like to do here, take your hands, grab your shins, and then you can actually use that, that attention to get a neck stretch when you're doing this. You can lean your neck to one side, and you can take that hand and like pull up while your knee pushes down, and that's gonna help stretch out this whole side of your neck. It's funny, my, my Zoomers are like, huh? But they're just stretching, so it's good. <laughs> Switch sides when you're ready. And don't lean forward. Lean that neck neutral with your shoulder. Pull back. Oh yeah, I was just doing it. Feels good. When you're done that one, if you want to do one last one, you can take those elbows and pull into your quads to get a bigger groin stretch. And then we're done. You guys were awesome today. Have a good rest of your day. Tomorrow is going to be a really fun one. So join us. Find out about it. We'll see you there. Drink a lot of water tonight because you'll be sweating a bunch tomorrow. Coach Amanda, Coach Greg, Coach Eric, signing off. Actually, he was just in the way today. <laughs>